We all miss Rush, and we all miss Neil Peart. So it was with great joy that we found out that Neil had one more book to give us. It seems the professor has one last lesson for all of us. We're going to talk about this in news, weather, and sports. Thanks for joining me. It was really cool when I found out that Neil had one last book, this time a coffee table book. And on their website, Rush released some words about this. So let's get into it. For Neil Peart, cars were a lifelong passion. And in his final literary creation, he writes about his beloved Silver Surfer's collection. The joy of collecting these exquisite, rare, and important sports cars in the myriad of ways in which they brought him joy. Silver Surfer's is an homage to the cars that meant so much to him and to the passion of the road that fueled his life. Neil first traces his roots to his auto obsession, taking us back to where it all began with the 1969 Lotus Europa, through the cars that he bought when the band made it big, and even his first family car, before taking us on a tour of the Silver Surfers themselves, a rare collection of some of the most iconic sports cars from the 1960s. There are seven cars pictured on the cover of this book, so let's go through them now. A 1964 Aston Martin DB5. Probably the most iconic. We've seen Neil in this car many times. He's written about this car many times. He loved that car a lot. A 1970 Lamborghini. A 1965 Maserati Spider. A 1964 Jaguar E-Type Series Coupe. A 1973 Maserati Coupe. And a 1963 Chevrolet Corvette Split Window Coupe. That happens to be my wife's favorite. I showed her these cars earlier, and she's like, oh, I love that car. If only I could give her one, right? And then finally, a 1964 Shelby Cobra 289. This one's black, unlike the other Silver Surfers, but Neil had something to say about this. He loved that car so much. He loved the patina of it, the black color, that he wrote, I'm not going to paint it. With regard to the car collection themselves, the Silver Surfer collection, Neil wrote these following words. The title Silver Surfers for my collection of cars occurred to me while driving my DB5 up and down the Pacific Ocean. Because it felt right to me, I guess, the idea that I was just one of the wave riders. I love that. I had moved from Toronto to Los Angeles in 2000, basically to chase a lady, uh, he says in French. <laughs> and in search of a natural peace, I often drove out of the way and up into the Santa Monica Mountains, out past Malibu to Ventura County. I'd weave along barren ridges of rock and vegetation, with the ocean always at one big side. Some days I would be misted by the marine layer, and other days the sun blared through the clear sky. The waves were slow and gentle, or churned out a powerful rolling rhythm. Neil Peart. And only Neil could put it that way. So beautiful. So also on the website, these following words were written about the book. Silver Surfers is a stunning coffee table book which is a departure from Neil's previous literary works. And as with his previous writings, it contains a compelling, detailed at times, humorous narrative. Of course it does. Yet the images, they take center stage. These beautiful images, many of which Neil personally curated, accompany his warm, personal story of how he built the collection, the joy he felt when he rode them, and the many friends he met along the way. The Ford, written by Neil's wife Carrie, provides an additional personal perspective into Neil's passion for cars and the extraordinary influence they had on his life. Silver Surfers is the final work of Neil's prolific, legendary career and is sure to become a cherished collector's item for decades to come. And I know it will for me. I've already placed my order. It is Neil's parting gift to those who loved him, but also to those who share his passion for automobiles. And here's the final thought on that. Neil's talent for the written word, passion for the open road, and desire to chronicle milestones of his life led to the publication of seven memoirs, Ghost Rider, Road Show, Traveling Music, of course, the Clockwork Angels trilogy, the Near and Far series. Of course, you can see I have several of them right here, in fact. Uh, so I... You can actually see them, and then back here I've got my, my Far and Away series, uh, and on top of that, my, uh, my R40 Blu-ray collection. Love that collection, by the way. 
But yeah, this this is really exciting, guys. And I can't wait to get the book. It comes out in May. Got a couple more goodies coming my way as well. Uh, especially a mug. There's a, there's a Rush 1974 mug. Happens to be the year in which I was born. This is one of my prized possessions right here. On the very night I was born... And my goodness, I'm about to give away my birthday, aren't I? But right here on this album cover, it shows that they were at this ballroom in Cleveland, Ohio on the 26th of August in 1974. Their very first American broadcast. And I have this in vinyl. This was an amazing gift from my wife. But yes, uh, their very first broadcast here in America, celebrating my birthday. I was born that day. And I find that very serendipitous. Uh, it's just, it's very cool. Um, so... Guys, I'm really excited about this book, and there's one more really big detail to talk about here, which is the fact that part of the proceeds will go to support the American Brain Tumor Foundation. Such a worthy cause. We lost Neil to something truly horrific, and I say evil. The fact that he was taking one of the greatest minds to ever grace this earth was taken out by something like that. And the fact that we can support that by getting this book, it means a lot. And I hope you guys join me in that. But also, part of the proceeds also go to the Lakeside Park Memorial, where they actually have uh, a Neil Pier Pavilion and some really cool statues and, uh, and other artwork to commemorate and honor Neil and to memorialize him. And of course, the, the famous, we all know the song, Lakeside Park. The fact that they're, they're memorializing him there at Lakeside Park is just beautiful. So, again, guys, get this book, this coffee table book with these cars, the Silver Surfers Collection. Let's support the people who are trying to help other people with brain tumors. And let's support that, that park as well. There's two very noble and high causes to support. I hope you join me in getting this book. Let's support the boys. Getty and Alex are still out there. And Olivia and, and Carrie, our hearts and our prayers are with you. We miss Neil so much. We miss you guys, Rush. And while you're at it, uh, Getty has a book out right now. And check out his TV series on Paramount Plus as well. Guys, this is Loud Boy. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope to see you next time. Let's rock on.